everybody, welcome back to my studio. This is Emma and an especially warm welcome if this is your first visit here to my happy place. It is very much my happy place. Although I have to say this morning, if I turned the camera around and panned around my room, you would probably <laughs> kind of fall off your chair. I have got so much stuff absolutely everywhere. I've, yes, sure, I've got my projects going on and I'm ready to go with this and I've got my project that I'm doing for my the exhibition that we're doing in the summer but I decided at the weekend it was time for a change in here I have been slowly over the months and years stuff has accumulated in here I've got furniture that I don't use anymore stools that I don't use anymore a desk that I don't use anymore all sorts of things that are just not what I want in here going forward and it was getting to the point where I just could hardly move in here for stuff so Inch by inch, I am going through this place like a dose of salts, as you might say. Oh, the girls are the girls are coming to say hello to you. Good morning. Good morning. That's Demelza and Patience. I don't know if you can hear them outside. That's our geese, our lawn mowers. Anyway, so I've got stuff piled up everywhere. I'm going out to charity shops this week with a load of furniture. I've got some things in the house that I'm taking as well and I've just been going through everything. I really want to be working going forward from where I am now and who I am now. And there's a lot of stuff from the past. And I think when you're a creative person and you make things, you kind of go through phases, I think, don't you? I'm sure you're the same, that you, you know, f for a phase you're doing this and for a phase you're doing that. And I've definitely moved on. I mean, like 10 years ago, I was making handbags. And um, in fact, one of them's here. I've got. I've got Mildred. Mildred's in my cor corner here. I've, I've got rid of a chair from over there. So she's currently sporting a handbag and I'm, and I'm about to take a load of handbags to the charity shop because I just think it's time for them to go as well. I'm making space for me and I think that's just really so important for all of us to do is making space for, for you, for your authentic self, for who you are now, not who you've been in the past. And sometimes it's quite hard to let go of things. I've got some things in here which are very much cherished memories. Um, I'm letting go, I've got a very old dressing table, I think it's like a 1950s one that was my grandmother's and it was my mum's, my mum used it as a sewing table for many years and I've had it in here and I've used it for different things, mostly for dumping things and I'll be honest. I painted it a pretty grey colour but now it's going out to the charity shop and it goes with my love and it'll go to a new home. I think I'm just sending things out to be rehomed and re-loved by somebody else so... I'm just going I'm just so thrilled honestly. I'm painting and decorating so the ha the room I'm doing and the house is nearly done and I feel as though it's a good time. Springtime is opening things up for me. And I'm sorry if you're going into autumn, that's a whole different story, isn't it? <laughs> so today, today, this is where we got to last week. If you didn't watch my video last week, please, you know, if you'd like to go back and see it, we did some stitching on my little picture that I'm making here and you can see the bottom is still hanging off and because um, I haven't decided what I'm doing with that bit yet so I've gone from a box of fabrics to a picture which is slowly evolving and I'm super excited about it and I'm going to take it over now to the table over there and we're going to get on and see what the composition is going to be like today. Okay so here we are ready and waiting to get on with the next phase of this. Now I did say last time I had no idea what was going to happen but what I've done is I've done some of my little tracing paper drawings and I just felt I wanted flowers. I just kind of thought well a, a row of flowers going across could be quite nice because it's it's quite wide. I didn't want to do anything fiddly like a little scene with I don't know you could put a house in here and some little trees. You could turn it into a little picture that way um, and most welcome to do so but I just felt I wanted to have something that went right across quite big in the foreground so I just drew these little daisy shapes and I did some I did some lower down ones because I was thinking, well, you know, how far up do you want them to go? Because you could quite nicely have a row going across. You could even, I suppose, do just little daisies in the foreground. Just you could literally sprinkle this with daisies, and that would be really quite nice too. Although then you might want something going up as well, like a tree or something. It's very much what pleases what pleases your fancy. What do you fancy doing? You know, this is this is your picture. You make it how you want it to be. And um, my way of doing it might not be your way. So please feel free to do what pleases you. So I'll just try and pull this apart. It's got itself stuck. 
Oh no, that's a blank one anyway. I thought I had another one. Oh, the other thing I did was I was looking at just doing grasses as well of some that some milk. But I just feel because it's spring and it's absolutely glorious weather out there. Let's do something spring-like. So I quite like that. I kind of had a play around with it, and then I just thought, hmm, I'm not sure. They're a bit fiddly. They're a bit fiddly, and they're not quite what I had in my mind. So. I'm just rustling some paper over here because I'm trying to find the bits. Now, you can see I've gone down a different track completely and I've come up with these little fellas, which is some lovely tulips. And I just thought, oh, now that instantly made me feel like that was, um, uh, you know, it could be really vibrant. You could use some really vibrant colors with this, but I like the simplicity of them. I like the bigness of the shape, you see. I felt these were lovely and they could be really nice, absolutely, but I just didn't want to do fiddly things like that. So I'm gonna work with this idea. I just drew these quick little tulips and I'm gonna work out how to do them next. And I will, of course, show you. But I, I, you'll have to let me know which you would prefer, or if you had another idea that you would put across here, please do let me know in the comments because I'm always interested in what, what other people see from what I'm doing, you know, where this, where this background would take you on a journey and what you would put on it. I think that's fascinating to see what other people do because we don't all have the same ideas, thank goodness, and we don't always like the same things. And even if you went along with this idea yourself and did some tulips or something like this, you know, you do them totally different to me and I think that's wonderful. So I'm going to find some fabrics and see next what sort of colours I would like to have. And also I need to think about how I'm going to do the stalks and the leaves and how this bit's going to evolve because I'm not convinced it's going to stay like this at this juncture. Having come up with this idea, I'm not convinced this is going to stay as one whole piece, but we will see, as I always say. So let's get some fabrics out and find out what's going to happen. Okay, so what I've done is I've done a little bit more drawing and I've kind of worked out, I think with this sort of size of tulip, I'm going to make seven of them of different heights. I'll make sure there's stalks are long enough that I can fiddle about and get the arrangement right. But I felt like this could be quite balanced if I did it that sort of that sort of arrangement somehow, so that there's a nice, you know, the heads are going up and down, they're not all just in an absolute row. And I also, I've done myself a little tracing of the sort of head shapes that I'm liking. So I'm gonna have perhaps three different head shapes. So there's there's a bit of coherence going on, so they're not all completely random. And then as I make them, they'll change anyway. So they'll be, you know, be how they come out, they come out. So they can start off this shape as an idea, but they may well change, we'll see. So I've chosen some fabrics. Now, are you ready? Have you got your sunglasses on? Because I'm gonna go for these colors now. When I, I kind of carefully went through my pink box and my orangey sort of tan colored box, orange and red, and I just thought, ooh, I think we like these. I think I'll just try and show you it like this. If I kind of put these together, um, I'm just trying to fiddle about with them. Look, when you start to put these together, Pink and orange is just sort of this classic colour that they, they just set each other off beautifully. And if I do sort of quite random petal shapes, and some may be more pink and some may be more orangey, um, I just felt that was really vibrant and just what I'm looking for, something really colourful, something that knocks your socks off basically. Because I've um, quilted these quite strongly, so there's quite strong things going on in the background in a way, um, if I try and just put the fabrics down straight onto those, these textures will come straight through. They'll come through the fabric, whatever stitching I try and do. So I'm thinking I might sort of pre-prepare some of these heads and I'll give them a buffer fabric. I might use some curtain interlining as a back backing piece and certainly a, a piece of curtain interlining will let me sort of quilt, the, quilt these heads a bit as well. So I shall assemble some more bits and pieces and we'll get going with that bit. Okay, so I've brought on my special curtain interlining fabric and I'm going to cut. I'm just doing this very roughly, okay? This is me mocking up, just to show you roughly how I'm going to put the composition together, okay? So when I come to actually do this for real, I will make sure it's all kosher and all the right sizes and everything. Um, so I've made myself a little pattern piece from my drawings that I made and now, if I'm going to make, this is going to be a bit of padding, okay, underneath my main fabrics, 
So say here's a piece of fabric I've really cut, okay? That's going to go on top of there and I'm going to then be quilting onto it because I think that will then help eradicate some of this coming through. But what I'm going to have to do is make sure this is small enough so this is not seen when I actually stitch the, um, the top colour on. So it's going to be a bit of fiddling this, but I think it'll work. I've done something similar to this before on a bigger version, so it's just a bit more fiddly doing it on in this version here. So I'm going to sort of, what I've done is I've cut out a few little tulip heads just to play around with them in terms of the colours. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base colour down of a pink or an, or an orangey red and then let's just, sorry I'll just move things around, I'm just trying to not get in the way of the camera here, it's quite quite tricky sometimes filming because I have to try and put my hands in the right places. So um, what I've cut out also is some little snippets of other colours of fabric which I'm going to just see whether I'm going to add some of these on. So I'm going to be clashing. We're going to have clashing colours here. So we're going to have little bits of pink lace. Let's trim that off a little bit. Oops, nearly got my fingers. Um, so I'm just playing around at this stage just to see what sort of things I would like to go together. And I think definitely I've got some mix of shiny and less shiny and I think that's quite good. I've got little bits of pink lace to go on. So I'm just going to build these up. Maybe I'll use a bit of this as well. Um, ooh, I'll tell you what, the other thing I've brought into the mix is my scrap bag. Okay, so in here, another scrap bag, ladies and gentlemen. Where would we be without them? And there's all sorts of little bits in here that I can snip it and put onto the, onto the mix. So I would like some of this very bright uh, sort of tangerine colour. So I'll get a little bit of that. Keeping a scrap bag is just so useful, isn't it? You just never know what you're going to need. It's a very good way of sort of looking at your colours as well. So I'll perhaps put another piece of that on there and a bit of pink lace. And So I'm going to build these up anyway. I'm going to faff about with them and they're going to say, as I say, they're going to have these little bits of wadding underneath somehow. I don't quite know how. It's going to be a bit fiddly to do. And then I'll outline them and then I'll be able to sort of quilt into them with lots of different colours. Uh, threads as well. So it's really going to be very bright and jolly. I think these colours have just really made the whole thing sing. It was getting a bit green which was lovely but they certainly have brought the colour out I think. They're a nice contrast. So the other thing I've been looking at is what sort of colour stalks to do. Now because I've used a lot of the same sort of shades up there and I've used this very dark down here I'm not quite sure what to do because I've kind of I've kind of almost used up all my greens that I want to use. And so to try and put stalks on here, it's going to have to be something a bit different because I don't want to say use that piece of fabric over here. It would be all right over here as a contrast. And I may well use some of this shiny green. Um, so I was playing around with different shades as to what would work for the stalks. See again, this is a nice, this is my linen, but I've used it over here, but possibly I could use stalks over here. So I could be doing sort of mix and match of my stalk colours, um, which could work. I think that could work quite nicely. Oops. Got a bit of, got a bit of bling coming in there as well. Oh, a bit of free bling. So, no, that was too greyish. So I quite, I quite like that. That's kind of, that kind of works for me, but I'm not sure that that doesn't work for me. I quite like these lighter colours and the idea of mixing and matching. I think that works quite nicely. But I have to say, what's popped into my head is something completely different to this. So I'm going to, to these greens. Okay, so what's popped into my head, however, is something which is totally different to these greens. Um, and I'm just going to have a little ratch in my boxes and see if I can come up with something. I've had a bit of a radical idea, so just bear with me and I will just see what I can find to show you. So I hope you're ready for this guys because this is kind of probably going to knock your socks off. I think it's kind of knocked mine off and here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at this. Now, if I put those with those pinks and oranges, they're just completely outrageous, aren't they? It's just completely mad, but I am going to use these shades for stalks and for leaves. 
and I just feel so super excited by this. It's like, oh my goodness, I think I'm really cooking with gas here. I think I must be on drugs or something. Um, it's incredible. I would never have really thought I would use these, but I've listened to my intuition, which has said, go and look in those boxes over there with your blues and your purples, and these are the colours I've pulled out. And they're all quite sort of, although that one's a little bit perhaps duller, these two are certainly very kind of vibrant, they have a vibrancy to them. So if I show you what I've done so far with these colours, I'm just going to move some of these off. Uh, which ones shall I move? I'll leave those on there, I think, for now. We'll take these ones off over here and we'll just see what we can do with these. So I've just cut some stalks and some leaves and they're very rough and they're very ready, rough and ready as you might say and oops let's get that down there and there's a leaf there and there's a leaf there. I'm probably a, sh I'm probably a stalk short. I'm probably a stalk short but never mind we'll just pop that there as though it's got a stalk in it and instantly that's just made that just so exciting and it made it complete you might think oh my goodness she's really lost it now she's completely lost it but when I look at this end and I kind of have all these lovely greens and they're very nice they're very nice aren't they look they're very nice greens but that end is like so safe and then you put your eyes over here and it's just outrageous in fact if I just if I just do this, right, we're going to do, let's do that first. Okay, that's really nice. It's very, it works well. The colours could be good. It'll work fine. It's, but to me, that's very safe, okay? Now, if I do that, oh my goodness, it's a completely different story going on. There's, I think it's brought drama into the picture, which makes me really excited. And I'm just thinking, wow, goodness me, who knew? If I start doing this a bit as well, I just think there's no comparison. I'm just... I'm just blown away by this guy so do let me know down below in the comments what you think whether you think I've really lost the plot or whether this is something super exciting that we can really work with and turn this into something so vibrant that you won't be able to miss it on the wall when you hang it on the wall. So I'm going to leave it there for today because partly because it's lunchtime and I'm really getting hungry now I need to go and get my bowl of soup and my salad or whatever I'm having for lunch so I hope that's given you some thoughts and some inspiration I hope you've enjoyed the video thanks as always for being here thank you so much for all your subscriptions honestly I'm blown away by how many people have subscribed to my little channel Thank you for coming to say hello on Facebook and Instagram. You know, if you've got any queries, just let me know either down below or, you know, send me a little message. And just thank you so much for being here. We are making the world a better place, one tulip at a time. So I will see you again here very soon. It'll be next week, fingers crossed. And we will see where this lot takes us next. And I'm just, oh, I might have to go and have a lie down now. So thanks so much. Bye for now. Bye.